retail sales of alcohol in the United States. Um, there are generally three kind of tiers for, um, particularly for old world wines. The first is the importer. And they are responsible for obviously importing the product into the United States from wherever it is. France, Italy, Spain, any of the old world places, or new world places even. If you're bringing in from South America, you still need an importer. Um, <clears throat> the next tier is a distributor, and they are the wholesaler. So they are the ones who actually sell to a retailer, like a wine shop or a restaurant. Um, so it's this kind of three-tiered uh, structure. Sometimes a distributor and an importer can be the same level. This is the same company. The company that imports also distributes, but it also depends on the state. Every state in the United States decides its liquor laws a little differently. So that's why um, we're the only country in the world that does that. Uh, and also makes it really difficult to have consistency in terms of what products are available where. Usually, the things that are bonded in every state, no matter where you are, are going to be the ones you see marketed everywhere. These are going to be signpost items that you can buy in every chain restaurant, every liquor store. Um, you see them, they are just ubiquitous. That is not to say they aren't necessarily, you know, they're still good quality, but they are not exactly craft, artisanal, small production for the most part. Um, these are all like multi-million dollar brands with very massive marketing budgets if you're seeing them everywhere, uh, and placement in, you know, every store. So a smaller producer will bond their product in New York to hit the city, California to hit LA and San Francisco, Florida to hit Miami, and sometimes Illinois for Chicago. And that is way cheaper in those four states than bonding your product in every state in the United States. So consistency from state to state in terms of what is available to purchase from smaller producers that I tend to work with is hard to come by. Um, so online is great because you can work with retailers, online retailers that can ship out of state. Um, that's always good. Wine Searcher is a great resource for, for finding you know a, a certain product. That is what I always recommend using because it'll show you uh, products, vintages that are available, the nearest store to you and what the price should be and it sh should even take you to that store's website. You can order it online, um, which is great. I just realized I'm really far reclined. That's probably why I was having issues focusing. Um, also, mixed light sources. There is natural light and I'm using a studio light, so that's why this side of my face is weirdly washed out. Um, but who cares? So, uh, retail sales, right? Three tiers. We have importer, then distributor, then retailer. So that's where you get to like a wine shop. Um, I've had the unique experience of only working in smaller boutique wine shops. That's my, my basic experience. I have done tastings in larger like box stores. And that gave me a really interesting, you know, glimpse into how those work. Um, it is quite different. Uh, how I basically got into the wine industry was by working for a distributor uh, who would send representatives out into retail wine stores or liquor stores uh, to conduct tastings and literally give out samples and talk about whatever the product was and try to sell that product. Um, most of the wines were not um, the most organic, let's just say. Uh, and most of what I was tasting out, I would not have consumed myself. Just putting that out there. Um, not because it doesn't taste good, necessarily. Um, a lot of them were actually pretty good quality stuff. But um, they were 
conventionally made and not necessarily organic or biodynamically farmed. Biodynamics is something I am I, I like to learn more about and am incredibly interested in. Biodynamic wines are they kind of take organics just to put it, you know, real simple. It is organic on steroids. They take organic farming practices and like use a lunar cycle. 